Hello, my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, my loves, let's get right into your reading. This will be your daily reading for August 14th, 2019. You guys, I am not doing extended yet. Not yet. Still working my way up to it, but I want to keep you going with your daily energies. And you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Hello, if you're first time to our first time watchers, and hello to our cross watchers. Okay? All right, you guys, don't forget that the messages will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. If you're watching this and it's past August 14th, just know Spirit has led you here. So this reading will apply to you. Okay, you guys, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, please. Okay, give us a thumbs up. And after you give us a thumbs up, hit that little bell right next to that button. And every time we release a reading, you'll be notified. All right, let's get right into it for our water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Holy Spirit, the mind, creator of the universe. What messages need to go forth for our water signs for August 14, 2019? Wow. My goodness. I tell you, the cards have really been falling quickly. Um, really all week. Holy Spirit, God, Creator, the universe, what messages need to go for? For our water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for August 14, 2019. What messages need to go for? For our water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for August 14, 2019. I don't know why these cards feel kind of wild. This is all over the place. The spirit, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, August 14, 2019. What messages need to go for? Some of these cards feel very stubborn. My goodness. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine created universe. What messages need to go for? For our water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for August 14, 2019. Okay. I don't know what was going on with that other deck. We're going to have to pay some attention to that card. Because it, it took a lot of my energy. Holy Spirit, the God of the universe, what messages need to go for? For our water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for August 14, 2019. Messages need to go for. All right. All right, and this one came out better. Okay. All right, last step. Let's see what's going on in love. In love for our water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. In love for August 14, 2019. Holy Spirit, the mind, prayer, the universe. What messages need to go forth for our water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, August 14, 2019. In love. In love. What do our water signs need to know? Okay, you got a flipper here. Two here. Your, your cards were, were, were hard to shuffle today, okay? Your cards were really hard to shuffle today. God's in charge. I believe this card, these cards about leaning on God and God is in charge. These cards have been falling a lot this week, a lot. Spirit is having to reaffirm to everyone that I'm in charge and lean on me for support. This wasn't the one that was very hard to come out. Spirit was trying to tell you, you're ready, and I feel like you're, that's what you're fighting against. You're fighting against doing something. You're fighting against moving in a territory you do not want to move into. I feel like some of you, you know you need to go back to school, and you're fighting against it. You know you need to dive into getting some more education. Maybe you need to, you're trying to get into another career, and you're being lazy. You really just don't want to do it, and Spirit is saying you're ready. That's not going to resonate with everybody, but I feel that specifically for some people, you know you need to get more education to take your life to the next level, and you simply don't want to do it. Treasure chest. A, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So it's coming to you now, but you got to make that change, you gotta change knowing and understanding that you're ready to take this leap. 
get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. I just said that to myself today. I got to press in and get myself in control physically so that I can help my mental stat status. Travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. So some of you guys will be traveling possibly this weekend. And emotional healing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and new love. So you're healing. You may be going away with someone that's going to help you get past this pain. You may be going away with somebody from the past and you're going to realize you're having to move on. Looking, looking at several different ways there. But it's just ironic to me that this purple is right in between the two browns. Okay, so that means that this travel is really significant to you exercising. Who knows, maybe you're going to need to get some exercise or you might be going on a cruise. And on a cruise, we eat a lot. And Spirit is telling you that and with this emotional healing, you're going on a vacation or going somewhere to kind of clear your mind. Maybe some of you are going to be going around water. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And whoever is safe for you to love, you're very passionate about this person. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. For some of you, I, I, I just heard this. Um, some of you are with someone that you really don't want to be with. And I heard you say, that's not me. This is not my relationship. And I see why, because it's unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. And this is the person you thought it was your true love. Okay, we got two different scenarios here. This is the romance of a lifetime. You felt like this was the romance of the lifetime, but it's not. This is not who you're supposed to be with. Because this person is coming in that you don't want to love. You can't believe um, that they really have feelings for you, but they do. And they're, it's very, they're very passionate about it. But this one, some of you are tied between two relationships. The one that you thought was your true love, they're not your true love. Okay, this is your true love. This is your true love. So, for those that are caught, let me reaffirm to you what God has told you. He is in charge, and that's why your cards were very hard. That's why your cards were very hard to come out. Spirit is reaffirming you're ready. Yes, some of you could be traveling. Either you're traveling this weekend with this person but some of you are traveling with this person that you should not be traveling with. And after you do, it's, it's going to be a bus. It's going to be a bus. And you're going to realize that's who you need to be with. For those that are single, um, this could be somebody from the past that's trying to come back. This unrequited love. Be careful because if you go back here, this one is not going to be able to come in. Okay? So you really need to pray. Ask God to navigate you through this situation. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.